The next range of products I'm going to show you are the velvet pastes. We have nine colors of velvet pastes for you and these come in slightly more muted and vintage colors. Let's have a look at those. So we have um, old gold, we have a brass, we have old brass, we also have violet blue, we have pink, we have light blue, we have pearl, and we also have light green. And the last color we have um, is the uh, green, and the green is beautiful emerald color. So let's have a look at the property of these because they are quite unique. I'm going to use the green one to show you what it looks like. So to start with, I'm going to take a brush and I'm going to take a little bit of that paste and then apply it onto my project. Now, of course, you can treat it like a paint. You can do exactly the same with your stencil paste. This one has a very, very fine grit and it just gives those beautiful effects. Now, let's have a look at how it will work through the stencil. So I'm going to take a little, little bit of a side of the stencil that I have used a moment ago and apply some of that velvet paste. As you can see, it's got grit, so it will really um, give you a lovely coverage. I'm going to lift this up, and here we go. We have this beautiful effect with that velvet paste. Now, when that paste dries, it gives both the shiny effect and a little bit of a matte effect. In fact, it looks like velvet. So it, this is a really good description if you, if you were trying to describe it to someone. It looks like velvet indeed. Let's have a look at some of the colors um, and let's open them up. So this is um, the brass really lovely color. I'm just going to be cheeky and take the same brush just, to, just so I can um, spread it on my project. This one has like a gorgeous red undertone and as you can see that grit is showing and you can apply it quite thickly to your project as well to get a complete and um, opaque finish. And again, as I just shown you a moment ago, you can apply it through the stencil as well. But this is absolutely perfect for those more kind of gritty and vintage effects that you want to um, create in your mixed media.